One trainer put me on the no carb, the Atkins. Oh, I, they said, after a week, you won't have any carb cravings. I felt lied to. <laughs> I had cravings. When you drive by a bakery and you jump out of a moving vehicle, that's a craving. <laughs> I had hallucinations. I thought Dr. Phil was on my front lawn. <laughs> John, come out here and exercise. You can't be big if your lifestyle won't allow it. <laughs> Get off my lawn! <laughs> Unless you have donuts. Every time the doorbell rang, I thought it was, I thought it was pizza. Come to save me. Oh, I was not good on the no carb, and, and I'm, I'm big into bread and pasta, and I eat way too much of it. So when they had the low carb pasta and bread, I was all happy. The low carb bread, have you tasted it? It looks like bread, but it has no other properties of bread. <laughs> I went to taste it, and my brain sent a signal to my mouth. Get it out, get it out! <laughs> it tasted like the wrapper was still on it. And I said, you know what? I'll put butter on it. Butter wouldn't go on. <laughs> I would put the pad on and it would fall off. Jam and jelly would beat up and fall off. Did they scotch guard this at the factory? <laughs> I tried to toast it. It wouldn't toast. I'm out in the garage with a blowtorch. It's absorbing the heat like a space shuttle tile. How does this break down in my system if it doesn't toast? They're gonna dig me up in 5,000 years and go, he was on the no carb. See that disc? <laughs> and then when you go off the no carb diet, you lose your mind. I went off one no carb diet. A Girl Scout came to the door. <laughs> she had cookies. I said, oh, I think you're gonna win the trip to Washington this year. <laughs> This will be fine for now. Go back and get the rest of the troop. <laughs> I went to one nutritionist that was uh, just all raw food. It's a great way of eating. It, it doesn't reflect my reality. But this lady, very nice. She was in her 50s. She looked 30. But it was too extreme for me. She said, first of all, I want you to juice. I said, okay, juice is not a verb. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> she said, no, for the first month, I want you to cleanse your system. So I want you to drink just juice. I didn't do well with that. <laughs> she sold me a juice the third day I juiced a ham. <laughs> she called me up, how you doing? I'm juicing. <laughs> Let me get this Krispy Kreme in here. We'll be good to go. <laughs> if you're drinking ham juice, and your arm goes numb, wait an hour. I'm not a nutritionist, but that's just how I, I think you should do it. She said to me, are you a vegetarian? <laughs> not in the strictest definition. Like, I don't eat veal, but he grows up. He's got to go. And I don't eat bison. I was in Colorado, I was served bison. Bif bison is buffalo, it was endangered. I don't want to eat that. Because it's not endangered anymore, but I don't trust it. <laughs> I'll finish the bison and somebody will walk up to me. That was the last one! <laughs> they gave it to me! <laughs> and I used to love lamb chops. Lamb chops, gyros. My friend owns a farm. He gave me a baby lamb to hold. It was adorable. It fell asleep in my arms. He said, the lamb fell asleep, it trusts you. <laughs> it has very poor judgment. <laughs> and I bit it on the ass. No, I didn't. I'm holding this lamb knowing I'm never gonna have lamb again, and I never have. And he said, would you like to see the cows? Hell no. <laughs> So this very nice juice lady, the raw food, she said to me, you have a block colon. <laughs> I, I'm, do I have that look about me? How do you? <laughs> then I'm thinking, how are we going to unblock this bad boy? <laughs> Attach this to your garden hose. <laughs> lady, I have neighbors. I'll get a letter from the homeowners association. 
please do not clean your colon on front lawn, signed all of us. She said, no, it's very easy to cleanse your system. She said, you're juicing, right? And I was juicing, and I still juice. I like juicing, I just can't do juice alone. But I hate salad, and salad has essential vitamins and minerals. So I just drink it, and it's done. So I was juicing. She said to me, put these herbs in your juice three times a day. After a month, your colon will be clean. I don't know what was in the herbs, <laughs> but I called her about 45 minutes later from the bathroom. <laughs> hey, crazy lady. I'm sending back the rest of the herbs. Mission accomplished. My colon's clean. I swallowed a quarter when I was seven. $50 came out. My, my ass hit the jackpot. I just want to know, am I going to live? In front of me? And yeah, it is not. That is unacceptable behavior and nothing that you just start after seven years of marriage. She never used to do it, and all of a sudden it's like, sorry. <laughs> sorry.